Kamuksa in lahat. Welcome to Pinoy Balance. And in this preseason episode, we're gonna have so many new changes. As you know, as you guys can see, we have a new set. Well, new look of our set. And we also have a very new co-host, Kayla. How are you Hello, feeling today? Hello, I am good. Thank you for having me here. It's such an honor. Awesome. Welcome to our Pinoy Balance. You're going to be here for uh, quite the whole season talking about NBA, yes. talking about Raptors. So it's going to be fun having you here. And for our audience in Saudi, get to know Kayla. She's going to be involved in, in not just our shoots, but also in our social media. So you guys can get to know her and interact with her through there, right? Yes, so, that's true. Are you ready for this? I am. I'm excited. I'm awesome, stoked. Awesome. Let's go through. So the first segment that we're going to go through is we call it uh, what's up in the NBA, right? So mm. let's go through some uh, you know, some topics that I want to go through. The first one is, you know, the juicy one. We always like to talk about the Lakers here. Talk about LeBron, AD, and Westbrook. Yeah. Will it work? What do you think? I think it will. To It de depends on what you're trying to say of how it will work. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it, are we, it if we're looking, goes, yeah. it always goes good, yeah. to be honest, like looks wise, numbers wise, yeah. stats wise, and just what they can perform with. But to be honest, I don't know if that can take, I don't know if that can take a ring, yeah. to be honest. It, There's a okay, lot of competition. Okay. Yeah, because the only way really you have to think about it, will it work is whether in the eyes of a, a Laker fan, yeah. if I'm thinking about it, the only way will it work is if they win a championship. Right. So in your I think case, that's all, like, that's, I think that's what that's they all the only, want. Yeah, that's, exactly. I think that's what all Laker fans really want is the ring, right? So do you so, think will it work this year? Will it work next year, maybe? Or like, do you think it's just a combination of, hey, like it may not be the best in terms of what could win a championship? I don't think it will be the mm -hmm. best, to be honest. Like, I think it'll be really good performance-wise, as mm -hmm. I said. Like, especially during the preseason, they just showed off with um, the Golden State game, right? So that's when they all first three came out. Um, so when I saw those highlights, I was like, whoa, they're performing pretty well. It's pretty cool. You know, you got three all-stars on there. But to be honest, I think in competition to getting to the ring, there's a lot of competition elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of teams are stepping up now. Mm -hmm. So Lakers, on the other hand, I think I just need a little bit more, I think, teamwork. You know what I mean? Because each of them have their own individual styles and individual play types. But as a team, I think dynamic wise, I think that's what's going to carry a team to a, to the playoffs and to getting a ring. So I think creating that dynamic might even make that give them a chance. Yeah. But as of right now, I mean, it's preseason, so we don't really know. But we'll yeah, see. we'll see. Yeah. It's, that's the it's, fun part. We're, yeah, we're gonna find it out. is the fun we part. Make, we make our prediction and we're going to find out. Yeah. Right? So instead of speaking of finding out, now that he's on the second season, LaMelo, mm. what do you think? Can he lead the, uh, the Hornets to a playoff? Can he be the star of this team and, and make another jump from his uh, rookie season? I think so. I think, I think especially from where I've seen him before in like high school and just where he was exposed with, I think his athleticism, as well as eagerness to kind of be out there, um, is going to be something to watch out for. Mm, I'm not too. like saying like, oh my goodness, he's going to be the next like, you know, LeBron that's going to take on recruits and be able to carry a team and whatever. But I think he has potential on starting something for himself, to be honest. Like Trey Young right now and Devin Booker and whatnot, they're they're starting out to be those type of people. I think Lamelo has a chance for sure with them. I don't know if it's going to be with the Hornets though. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. I think the Hornets is like his starting team, but I think he has a chance on carrying a crew behind him mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. Yeah. Spe speaking of someone that needs to be carried, Ben Simmons, will you see? Will we, will we see him still play as a sixer, or will he get traded? before even the season starts or will he not even play at all i think he'll play like he, this because dude's throwing fine, money right? <laughs> this dude's throwing bank yeah. to i don't even know where they're throwing it to to the team to the nba association or whatever but yeah like he's he's throwing bank and i feel like he's just i feel like he's just trying to make a statement right now i think that's what he's trying to it do it has a little bit to do with, with rich paul and the way he likes to yeah. manage his players he likes yeah. to kind of do play the power trip power control right i'm in charge of my players we're in charge of how we play or how we right. where we want to go right yeah. yeah and i think ben simmons just is kind of testing the waters mm -hmm. a little bit yeah. um 
So I think he might he might just jump the gun and just you know Stop. completely. Yeah, I think he will. Where were the? But where we do don't you think know when. Will we go? <laughs> I, yeah, but I don't know when, and yeah. I don't know where mm. he'll go to. Where would be he would be a good fit? Where would you think? Mm. Like just speaking on top of your head, like hey, we need somebody that can't shoot. And, and, and can pass though. <laughs> I, so then no one, because I don't know, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know if he'll be, like, I'm not saying he won't move, <laughs> but like, I don't know what team, to be honest. Because okay. he said, like, I don't know what he's. Before I ask the last, I have, yeah. I have a team in mind. So You do? Yeah. And? So one word, because I'm a big fan of their, and, and, and it's the Warriors. Just because mm. they don't need enough shooters anymore. They can. They have enough assets. I don't know if James Wiseman is on the or, or, is, or Jonathan Kaminga that they just drafted is on, the, and, and maybe a couple is of on veterans. That list there, and yeah. he could be that player that really um, doesn't need to shoot at all because you got right. Steph Curry, you got Clay Thompson, you got even Wiggins who's playing significantly well and, and tremendously. He's and, getting there. He's getting and, there for sure. And Ben Simmons plays quite a multiple positions in terms of him being able to guard almost four or five positions. Right. Right from his size and his strength. So I think he would be a perfect fit there. If if, mm. if they can take advantage of that, right? It may cost them Draymond Green, but I'd rather have a younger, more versatile defender and playmaker than Draymond Green as much as I'm a big fan of him. Yeah, but yeah. to be honest, I love Draymond. I me too. Like but I if know, you could trade yeah. a, if you can upgrade yeah, you're him. You're right though. You're right though. Yeah. It may, right? So potential. Like yeah. it could work. It could work. It yeah. could work. Well, last one for our for speaking of something that could work or may not work still, Chris Paul. Is this championship window open still, or has it closed from last year's opportunity where everybody was injured? He's he's getting old, mm. to be honest. Yeah. Like I think I I mean of course like age just a number is what mm -hmm. everyone says. Yeah. But I think the window is slowly getting more narrow, to be honest. Yeah. And I feel like I feel like the Suns are able to, as you saw in the previous season, right? I think they're able to to do that. It's just how mm. are they going to do that, right? Is Devin Booker, Chris Paul mix a good sure. fit? Mm. Or do we need to add extra people? Do we need to switch things up? Do we need to, you know, figure out which roles each of them need to play, right? So I think that right now, this, the window's a lot more we're narrow. We're hoping, yeah, just yeah, because we're, a big, year, fan of, we're exactly. a big fan of Chris Paul and we hope that I it's really there. hope too. It's going to be a lot tougher this season with everybody back healthy like right. Clay. Durant, um, Harden, LeBron has a better team than when yeah. he had last year. So, Chris Paul, I hope the window is still open for you. <laughs> yes, I do too, because you deserve it. He exactly. deserves it, for right. sure. Awesome. That's all we have, guys, for the all about the NBA portion. But when we come back, we call this one the Raptors Delight, where we take on some of the topics for what we are predictions for the Raptors. So stay tuned.